There is a pole that is longer than a barn. At rest, it does not fit inside of the barn. If the pole passed through the barn at near light speed, then because of length contraction, it would fit inside of the barn. In other words, the back would enter before the front exited. But from the perspective of the pole, it is the barn that is moving near light speed, so it is even shorter than normal. The pole wouldn't fit, so from its perspective, the front exits before the back enters. How can one perspective see one thing happen after another, while a different perspective sees one thing happen before another? Couldn't this cause a sort of paradox if, say, when the back of the pole enters, something is created, and when the front of the pole exits, that thing is destroyed? If the object stays in the same place the whole time, then no. If the stationary perspective orchestrates this at the front of the barn, then the pole will see the object created at the moment the back enters, after the front exits, and the object will be destroyed way after it leaves. This is because objects moving at fast speeds, like this, don't see things in different places happen at the same time. Their axis of time is skewed to match their motion, and their axis of space is skewed to match their time axis. This means that a simultaneous event farther away from these moving objects end up not seeming to happen at the same time. Alright, so let's say the object is created and destroyed at the same time and place as the entering and exiting. This will get rid of the skewing of simultaneity. Unfortunately, for the object to get from one side of the barn to the other in the time between both events, it would need to go faster than light. Basically, these events cannot affect each other, therefore there is no problem. In conclusion, the pole barn paradox messes with the order of events, but since these events can't affect each other, it doesn't really matter in which order they arrive. Mm -hmm.